ready for mouth stuff. <laughs> I said whatever. She said almost whatever. Yeah, they had to take that back. I'm taking this shit serious. You gotta take it serious, man. No, fact, you said whatever. So like, if I put some shit together, I swear to God. And you're not with it. That's not my fault. Well, that's her fault. Yeah. Because she put herself in that situation. All right. What's up, everybody? While he over there trying to figure out what type of outing he finna do with somebody's (laughs) daughter. (laughs) (laughs) This fur. (laughs) This no draws. We have a special guest. You let him know who you are. Hey, man. It's your dog, Mr. Bankshot. Uh, You know, I'll I'll be around. I'll be around. Y'all probably done seen me plenty of times before hanging out with with the crew. You feel me? So just happy to be back. Man, this shit fun, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, to see the response it get in the street, I don't believe it's real until niggas run up on me and be like, nigga, can I get on the show? Because uh, Instagram be lying to you about oh, who yeah. see your shit. Yeah, no, 100%. It's way bigger than you think. You think like, it's way bigger? Like, the like when you see your analytics, oh, yeah, yeah, what yeah, it yeah. say right there is not nah, really what yeah, it that's is. that's not accurate. Because nah. I'd be like, nah, I can't be 2,000 people saw this, and then yesterday 134 saw yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how that shit worked, though, as far as, like, um... Like, all right, let's say you, if you upload a video on Instagram and it's monetizing, like, how long do it monetize? The whole time, I'm assuming. Once you start, once you post it and that green light come on and there's no issues. But I, it feels like it only monetizes, like, for the first, like, hour or two. Nah, that's when I know the numbers go crazy. But then the first, first 30 hour, hour, yeah. If it hit the first 15 minutes, you'll know because that should be like 200,000 real fast. Yeah. You'll be like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. I just always wonder because I feel like this should be slowing down. Like, it I'll be do. looking at it like, okay, it's making some money and then like, it'll still get like 100, 200,000 more views, but then it's only been like $2. Yeah, you'll be like, oh wait, you, so you probably get like, I only get mine for the reels. You get your shit from like the phone no, and content? Only, no, no, I only do it on Instagram. It's only for the content. Oh, okay. uh, reels, I mean, reels. Yeah. Facebook. You make more money on posting longer content. Yeah. But you also still got real bonuses though. Yeah, reels bump my reels been going stupid on. But I don't I don't, I can't I don't know, man. I gotta do my long form content and I just ain't did it yet. Yeah, that's what I need to start. But then I gotta like can you you can't curse on Facebook? Cause I'm not finna go nah, back and bleep you shit. Can't. Out. No, you're gonna have to do the same thing how you do on Instagram and oh, bleep out the that's curse. About words. To be trash. Yeah, they're not gonna let it ride. You I mean no, they, they both own each other. I mean, I don't know that to be one hundred percent true but i feel like with them owning each other then it would only make sense that they would but it i be seeing way wilder stuff than what i be having on, on my Facebook? page uh, yeah i don't fucking know man I, I actually to be honest with you i ain't be on it long enough to even know yeah i, I post, post and leave. Like, I'm out. yeah i don't be checking comments i don't be doing none of that stuff bro because you be getting flagged for saying but you know you put a wrote <laughs> but oh it's against our policy it's yeah. hate speech like, but yeah bro they be tripping bro i can't do it man i don't be, fucking know at this point, I'm about to just start an OnlyFans foot page, man. <laughs> hey, man. Ladies been telling me I got soft feet. Why are you letting people touch your feet? It's a girl. It's ladies. Oh. Hey, you let ladies. You don't let ladies touch your feet? We're not talking about me, though. <laughs> okay, so, so you don't let ladies you. touch your feet, though? I mean, I've had ladies touch my feet. I've had ladies suck my feet before. Wow. I'm, I can't do that, man. No, I kick her in a tonsil. Little thing dangle in the back. No, wow. it, it, it tickle a little bit, but it's, you know, it's, it's straight. Nah. Know. We can we can play footsies, but I'm never not 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 no. Nah. You're not finna suck on my toes. Nah, definitely got my toes up. All of your toes, or just the one foot that just specific? man. I think if I remember correctly, because it's probably about like two two three years ago. I think she had my whole five toes in her mouth. Man, like, she, but she was like going individually, and then she did the she, five toes. She single oh, the baby she toes, single gawked she, everything, everything. Oh man, yep. And then like three weeks later, I had like athlete's foot, and I said, oh, I don't know if that was you from got her. Sick. Yeah, yeah. She probably got bad t- pH balance in her saliva. Mm. Got in your crevices. No, no, no. No, she don't. No, she don't. It was good? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. She was A1. That's my number one. That's hey, like shout that's, out to who's sucking feet hey, out here. She, she's the number one. He I, Look how he lit up. He done started hey, turning orange a little bit. You're listening. Like, I'm, I'm talking. That woman right there is top It's a, It's notch. a few in your phone that you, you like, I got a top uh, in my phone. Oh, yeah. And it's only like it's only one. It's nobody near the top. If you no, it's it. not even close. But she got she had everything covered. I mean, oh, the, the the head. Did the, she eat your butt, bro? She did. She did. I didn't get but it. I ain't asked for it though. That's my rule. She you snuck can, and ate it. She snuck and ate it. Can you be upset snack. about that? Nah, you can't really <laughs> she be said upset. Late night it looks snack. late night. She like tricked me. You know when they kiss, I start like, give me head, go to your balls, the gooch, and then it's like whoop, and then it's like you're already there. So it's like, but I never requested it though. Like, I can't request. I feel like if you request, that makes you, you know. 
the disrespect a woman is gonna get if she gotta eat my butt, man. You gonna clap your legs on? Nah, them? man. It's just so much hair. She gotta. <laughs> oh yeah, back but there with her I mean, she just ah, yeah. Man. She didn't care though. Like you know. Wow, she was just. You better. That's one of them days you hope you pray right because you might have a little dangleberry in there. She done licked the dangleberry out your booty hole. You gotta Woo. use wipes, man. You never like. We would have conversation though. Like, she would let me do whatever. Like, oh, this sounds like she's disgusted. Dis- uh, I wouldn't call I'm it disgusting, it. man. She just, you know, when she when she rock with you, she rock with you. That's how I look at it. Be the best women. Be the best ones. They mostly come from Florida. From what I'm learning. She lives in Florida. I know, I know it is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know what y'all got in Florida water, but y'all women are <sighs> nasty. Know, but she was technically born in Ohio, but then moved to Florida at like a, a young decent age. age. Yep, yeah. at that age where she impressionable. Yeah, I just yeah. seen a podcast. A clip today where this dude kept saying he wanted a woman to be impressionable, and like the women was getting all over him because it was. Like, he said he don't like to date women thirty and up. Like he got to, he got to get them younger, <laughs> that makes sense. so he could they because they're more impressionable. He can kind of and the lady was like, but train them. Like you only get a job to the employer wants the employees to be pre- impressionable so they can train them to do what they want. I'm like. That's what having a relationship is. So she yeah. doing the same to you. It go, I don't yeah, it know go why. both ways. You training me on how you want to be communicated and love. Need the fucking the toilet third. seat down. Yeah, all that shit. All the stupid stuff. You never know. You train until you be like, damn, I be putting the toilet seat down yeah. and wiping it off, and it's just me in here. That's how I know I don't want a relationship right now because I can't be I can't be trained right now. I'm a, yeah. You, you go through peaks and valleys yeah. of savagery, and the savagery is coming. I feel it. It's it's one of them things like ooh, when it goes, it's gonna be savage. Yeah, it's about to be real bad. It's it's finna. And I'm not going to be able to control it. You can't do nothing. Ladies, if your man is going through savagery, let him go through savagery. Any dude through you it. messing with. Any dude you messing with, for sure. And I feel like as as men, it is our responsibility to let women know from the jump what it is that we're trying to do. We shouldn't be out here lying. We shouldn't be out here trying to Should just not. lie to get the get the draws. You My ass me? ain't even see if this shit was focused. Give me two seconds. <laughs> I just thought about it. I know I did, though. No, we outlined the red. All right. All we right. did that shit. We good. Yeah, we straight. Yeah, man, you know, dudes be out here lying, bro. Like about what? I mean, I've we, done, we, I've done that before. I, can, I mean, sometimes you say what you you know what a, whatever a woman want to hear, so you can get the box. I'm not saying shit you want to hear. You never have in your whole life of fucking. Ninety percent. I'm shooting ninety percent, bro. I ain't lying about nothing. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Because it just don't make sense. Like you see how I'm living. You see what I'm doing. What is there to hide? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have cheated before. Everybody yeah, yeah, has. Yeah, yeah, but it ain't yeah. like she asked me and I lied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of like pre comedy for me, though. Like before I dabbled in my lane, okay. I was out here just probably saying whatever. Saying, you was just out here just giving them what they need. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But then. I can't just give no. girls what they need. I give them what they want. No, no, I mean, what they want. Yeah, you're giving them what they want. You're not giving them what they need. They I'm need giving, you to be upfront and honest with them. No, I'm giving them what they need. My bad. I said it wrong. You're giving them. No, you said that. I'm yeah, giving I'm them giving them what, what they need. need, not what they want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm giving them everything. <laughs> <laughs> he said, fuck it. No, nah, not everything. You're not getting everything. You're not you're not getting everything. But I'm gonna give you some shit though. But like I say within the past like three years, I've definitely been more like intentional, like, hey, this is what the fuck it is, and this is what I'm trying to do. If you on that type and it actually works. All the time. It works. I've been telling people that stop lying to these women. Dudes be scared. They be like, I ain't gonna get it if I you know what I mean, I gotta make it seem like I want more than what it is. Like, no, I swear to you, if you just be straight yeah. honest. You're going to save yourself a lot of time. You're going to so save much. her a lot of time. And 83% of the time, they're going to be with it. Yeah, because they already like you. Yeah, facts. They're going to be mad for a little bit. But I can't believe you said that. Then they're going to be like, you know, you're right. I yeah. respect it. You yeah, know, I respect yeah. it. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, that's my nuts that hit the lip. <laughs> wow, bitch. Why, 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 is, why, is, why is your nuts set shaped like a phone? Because, man, they big. <laughs> I don't know how big they is, but I've seen my nuts hang out the bottom of my drawers before, and I was like, "Damn, that's hey, a lot of meat." Hey man, that's, that's a lot of sack that's meat. A lot of info. You know, it's parts of your body. You know, our bodies used to be women because we all started as women, and then we blossom into young men. Like our our our, our organs, our genitalia. So this is in the your, womb, right? Yeah, in the womb. So if you look at your balls, that would have been labia skin for the coochie. You making this up? No, just look at your body. So a clit is a clit penis. is a little bitty penis. It just get big. I don't like hearing that though. I know because you feel gay a little bit. Yeah, because you don't make you know. Sometimes the girls with big clitorises scare me. I've never had a big, big one. I've had like a one that's like, oh, it's, it's personality. Yeah, I don't have one like that. like they, they swell up. You know what I mean? Like that was way too big. <laughs> that was way too. big. I mean that wasn't. <laughs> that, was big. 
They swell up. They, they, <laughs> I did, I you like, said they swell they up. Swell like, up like, sir? They, they swell up. That was mad. She got a baby carry that clip. <laughs> what are you talking about? They swell up. <laughs> They swear love, they get stiff. No, that's still not a good word to yeah, use. Yeah, man. Now you're yeah. saying a stiff clip. How do you, how do you, I don't even know the word that you would use. Like, they just, they pulse. Yeah, <sighs> engorged. That's no, not, no, that's even worse. Damn. That's uh, a terrible way to. Yeah, we could just switch the topic. You know, we don't got to. <laughs> we, <don't, laughs> we don't got to. She yeah, said no. you, you licked a big baby clip. Yeah, I would lick clip. the swollen clitoris. I'm disgusted with myself. <laughs> oh. Dang. That's crazy as hell, man. Uh, uh, I see you putting out new content, man. Are you re remixing the old stuff and just making the uh, uh, resolution better? No. Actually, uh, I did a, like an alpha video for mm -hmm. the founders that I did just redo that. But I have been in my vault as far as like looking at old clips I might have did with you know people who I no longer make content with. And I'm yeah. like, yo, we might as well just remake it, put it back up because motherfuckers either forgot about it or like you said, the resolution. Like everything I'm trying to do now is... Vertical, no it's more, yeah. no more horizontal video. Can't ever go back, y'all. You can't, man. Like it, this shit look whack. It just be like, oh, y'all have trained everybody. Like yeah. people that watch this don't realize that people, your eyes been trained by apps yeah, to absolutely. look at everything like this. So if it ain't like that, y'all gonna like this yeah, is trash. Know. TikTok is is up and down. Instagram is now it's, catered towards up and down. Yeah. Like the reels is going. Facebook all up that. and downs. All that. I don't. I, I'm never trying to do this on my phone unless I'm watching the game or well, like some yeah. YouTube shit. But other than that, I'm not turning my phone. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't think it's nothing wrong with going back in your vault and like redoing content. I feel like as creators, sometimes we'll be like, all right, I did this one thing, and then now I'm gonna get away from it. But it's like if you go to like a concert because we're we're artists in a sense. You gonna want to hear the that hits. nigga's best hits. You feel yeah. me? Like. Why not? So the hit, bro. When I we went, what did we go? To? We was in Charlotte. It was like a year ago, and I was like, "Damn, we in this room? We was in the hookah spot or something." It was me, you. I want to say me, you. In Charlotte hookah spot. It was a random spot that had just opened up, and it was weirdly built, and it looked like where you go for side chick stuff. This was like within the year. This was during like in the middle of a pandemic, and then Oots pulled up on us. Oh, that was um paparazzi. That's what, yeah in Charlotte, Burpee. The first, uh, the first or second week we was there. Yeah, yeah. We hosted, I was like, oh man, I went up there. It was eating the bag of baby dick. Hey, no, that just time. wasn't. No, that just wasn't a. I, it, it was a weird. It's a weird place. It's a bro. weird place, bro. That's a weird place, and I, I'm I'm with all that. You know, just having a comedy show or ever, but I just feel like Sometimes, some places though, man, it's not gonna win. No, not gonna and win. I've seen you do. Comedy in places that I just was like a dog park, nigga. It's fun though, bro. bro There's no expectations. Like, that's why mm, you gotta think about it. And then there also be it be mixed and it be white, so yeah. people be on Zans, Perks, and then they be uh, drinking. Shit. So they just be here, bro. After a show one time, I got off stage. This white dude dapped me up with a cocaine dollar, and it was rolled up. He's like. You, you know, I was like, nah, I don't, I don't, like, nigga, I'm still on. People can see you, sir. Uh, right. Like, I got the footage. I swear to God, I was like, yo, the dude just gave me a cocaine dollar. That's like how they did Like thug, rolled up and everything. When that dude got thug the perk. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. It was just a white dude. Just, we was talking about cocaine. I was pointing to him and his friends. They look like they do coke. I know my coke looking people. Damn. And, bro, I was like, bro, I, people can see you, sir. You ever did coke? Hell no, nah, I'm scared, man. man they, it said it said it make your wee wee's not work. I'm like, why? What's the point of doing coke if your dick don't work? Yeah, no, fair. They said that about a lot of stuff too. They said about like X, Adderall. But why Molly. do people do it and be like, man, I was on like 17 pills and I was fucking for seven hours? I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the person. I almost did coke on New Year's. How was it? This New Year's? Yeah, this one that passed. I never oh, done it before. You I was looking it. at it. You was this close to it. Somebody had offered it to like this girl that I know had offered it to me, and I was like, oh, I bet, fuck it, let's go. But then like. If it's just put it on like a key and just did it like in front of like the club we was in. I was like, oh, you you supposed to do this in, in front and, of people. Yeah, in private. Yeah. I thought it was a private, I was thing, a private thing, thing too. I, 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 like, oh, I would yeah. judge myself if I saw myself I do it said, in front no, of everybody. I can't do that though. I can't do that. I, I wasn't gotta, probably going to anywhere though. I've gotta, never I've never snored in anything. Like, I, I gotta just, go in the corner and be shaking. I gotta go in the bathroom. Like, I gotta be like, yo, like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing like why am I doing this? Like that's my adult life, but I drew on my face. Never. Right. Throwing up and shit. Mm -mm. No, I couldn't do it, you know. No. Man, people that do coke, different people, bro. I don't know how you do it all the time. First of all, you got to be rich. You got to be rich. You, got, you got to be rich. I think that's... So expensive for no reason. Yeah. I don't know the cost of coke per gram, but it got to be a either. lot. I I have no idea. It probably ain't that much, though. 
It got to be. Well, well, they they switching it out with fentanyl now because yeah, whatever yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. No, it's heroin. They fentanyl switching out. Well, they doing like with fentanyl. They putting it in like certain pills and shit. Uh, it, they are, but it's like uh, if you look at with the war stuff going on. My homeboy is an ex-military. And he was telling me about it. We was literally having a conversation. Then next next day in the news. It was saying how the opioid crisis was getting more towards fentanyl. And there was a guy online talking about, like, how he used to be. He was like, there was a whole drought of fuck, fucking heroin, bro. It, just, it was just fentanyl was the next best thing. And they just kept pumping fentanyl through the streets. And I'm like. That shit kills you, though. All I'm, of that I, I, I know heroin kills you, too. But, like, bro, you can touch fentanyl and pass out. For, <laughs> you see them? There's been no. hell of videos of cops, like. They like trying to figure out what the drug is. They'll grab a bag and actually touch the shit. And these motherfuckers will pass the fuck out. What is in fentanyl? I have no idea. Oh, I don't need none of that. And that's experience. like the only drug I I think that like if I sell you fentanyl and you die, I get hit with a murder charge. That is wild. First of all, why would you, first of all it's drugs? You should you should the person you got it from. You know what? That's how oh people like the die. person that I yeah that's how you end up dead. Yeah, because that's know. snitching. Yeah, <laughs> that's like. Like ways snitching, like it's a police officer right here, bloop, and then not somebody else, but nah, yeah, but I got it from here, right? And they like, nah, I got it from here. Mm, I, yeah, no, nah, nah, the city where I'm from it was in a, my next door neighbor. Well, my sister's next door neighbor, he got charged with murder because some he he sold fentanyl to somebody and they ended up overdosing on it. Damn, in Ohio, in Ohio, yeah, Ohio, them upper, them cold states be selling. That oh yeah, no, up there, that's different drug dealing up <sighs> yeah, there. No. That's not glamorized drug dealing. No, nah. that's that's the drug dealer you see that like the the drug dealing they glamorize is like we in the tropical sun, Jorge and Miguel are over there, my friend <laughs> coming over here with a kilo of coke. Is is Fetty Wap? Is that where Fetty? Is that? Nope. I don't know. It could be, but they don't glorify the upstate, up north drug dealing as much as they do as like in a tropical drug dealing. Oh, yeah. It's only one rapper I ever hear talk about fentanyl. That's ESTG. That's, that's. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy his. I love rap music that just got murder in it. And I be trying to get oh, away from man. it. I'm trying to get away from it too, bro. But it, it be the beat that be catchy. It then be catchy. You, then the flow be like, all right. And then and now you rapping about killing people, knowing you ain't killed nobody. Ain't bro. nobody got killed on ain't the way to the Nobody got killed. I do be trying to switch up what I listen to and what I intake, though. I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Yeah, I be trying to. I was I was on Kevin Samuels laughing for a long time. And then I was like, I gotta get off this because yeah. this shit funny. It's, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's so funny. It's and women be so mad about it. They be so mad. I'd be like, but they calling him. <laughs> it's not like he dialed his women up like Keisha, you there? They calling him. They are calling his man. With some of the most craziest stories. Like, yo, what you mean you 40 with eight kids and you deserve I'd be like, this can't be life, man. Yeah. It's so it, I think computers have messed everything up, but helped us out at the same time. But everybody view of reality be skewed. Yeah, no facts. There is no, there is no reality. There is none. It's whatever you create. It's whatever you create, and that's a very that's dangerous for a lot of people. It's very dangerous, especially if you never, if you ain't really grew up with it and it's new to you, and you start getting a, like recognition that's different yeah like like for us like we was doing comedy before so it's different like yeah. we understand real world if you funny somebody might run up to you say this that and the third now you put uh social media and streaming and twitch and all that on there it's even bit gro broader so now it's like people hitting you up in your email yeah. like dming you like a regular person can't handle that no they can't like they you know, you really got to be trying. I, I feel like I'm kind of like lucky because I was in like that first wave of you, like content creators on Instagram, at least anyway. So it was kind of like I was old enough at the time. I'd been like 24, maybe 25 when I started. And it was just like, all right, I've lived enough life. I've lived yeah. without internet. You know what I mean? So yeah. I kind of know what's real and what's not. But I do feel bad for motherfuckers being born like today. Because they just be like, I'm just going to be on the internet. And they don't live no real ass life. No. It's like, we're just going to sit in this room for 10 hours a day. Like, no, nah, I like to kiss girls in the mouth. Yes. I don't know if y'all, if y'all don't, that's cool. But yeah. I'm about to go in these streets. I'm finna get. But even that is hard though, bro. Like, I... how is it? Like, because I'm getting to the point where like people know me, but it just be like a whisper of me. They be like, bro, I heard you before. Like, yeah. I've seen some shit of yours. Yeah, you do be everywhere, though. But yeah. it just be like, oh, you him. Yeah. Got you. So now, like, hoes will slide up in your DMs with titties. <laughs> I've had people run up to me about you before. What? Yeah. I, was, I mean, I want to get my passport. Somebody ran down on me about you. That is weird. I'm like, damn, okay. I mean, you know my dude, Deferred. I'm like, I, I do know Fergalicious. He's a very That's the worst name respectable ever, guy. 
I just be trying not to cheat and mess people's life up. That's all I do. Yeah. I'd yeah. be like, bro, if you cool with me and we be doing business, what's, what, what, why am I going to be trash? Right. Facts. But Facts. I couldn't, I can imagine having hoes, having 100,000 followers on all platforms and then trying your best to be sane. Hey, man, it don't be. It's it's it, not going to work. It don't be how, I mean, for me anyway, like it don't, it don't be jumping how. They make it seem. Make it seem. Yeah. But I do think, you know, I've had like. You know, public relationships. So maybe people might think I'm still in a relationship, but the women do who like do jump in my DMs. They just they don't be like my type for real. They be husky fours. <sighs> yeah, a lot of husky fours, man. Yeah, man. They be having a lot of frosted mini wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and I just be like, yo, oh, like, and I don't be want to be like mean or rude or no shit, but it's just like. This isn't what I'm about. Yeah, I just, and I feel like I don't even give off that type of energy. Like I feel like, yo, there's no way that you thought that I was going to want to fuck with you. Like There's no way you would have thought that. Like, it, at all. I do get, like, when I respond, people's like, I didn't think you was ever going to respond. Yeah. I do get that. I'm like, but I can see it all on my phone. Yeah, like, I see all my shit. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like you have to, you don't have to, but I look at my shit just to see if there's some type of, like, business request. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like In my DMs. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really even out here looking for like a relationship or a certain woman. I'm just living life. And like my, I told myself from now on, like any woman that you see in my videos, like I've never smashed them. Like I'm just not. Yeah. How, like I thought about that at first. People was like, you should do like some sort of date. I'm like, nah, bro. Cause I really saw what you went through. Like, cause you was on the internet early. I was sort of there, but I wasn't every day like you. Yeah. And I was watching and he was like, bro, I had to take all that shit down. I was like, Oh, well, I won't be doing that. <laughs> that shit ass, bro. Like, Who would not be doing fire, that? Fire, like, just some fire content. Because motherfuckers, hey. they just don't respect, like, they just don't respect, like, a certain personal space. And I get it. Like, you put that shit out there, that, that shit. But, like, if you look at my page, bro, you don't really see, like, nothing that, would show you, I guess, like my personality or who I am. Like it's just straight that's content, you know? What yeah, I mean? that's what I, I like. I think that's the better way to do it as yeah. a person. But we gotta take a commercial break for it. Uh, if you're trying to kiss your young lady in the mouth, make sure you light up some by Felicia. It'll get her wet and get her ready to go and ready to get your little men marching to the streets of gold. Smell it. Don't it smell like what it smell like? Mm. Bad hoes. Mm, it smells very sophisticated. Like it got citrus, exotic woods, floral, and vanilla bean in it. See what he did? Mm. And I respect it. I'm going to have to buy Felicia. You got to buy Felicia because Felicia will get you every time. Mm. Oh, we're going to go back to our regular schedule program. Okay. Shouts out to Craig, who will be out here doing all the great stuff. Oh, did you come? No, you ain't come that weekend with Ronnie and I'm at this. At this uh, no, I was in uh, Greenville with Burpee. That, that was, yeah, how was that? That was lit. That was actually a, a very dope. Show, a very dope show. But y'all at a uh, a comedy club? Yeah, the comedy zone. Those are the zone. best places to tell, like to ha do what we do on stage. Comedy zones or any type of place built yeah, for comedy. Especially Greenville, though. Greenville is a very like we want to come and just hear good material and get some yeah. good laughs. You know what I mean? So some people do not be having material. Some and you people can do tell. not. Yeah, you definitely can tell. And it was like a challenge for me, but it's like a good challenge because I was just there with Darren in like July. Oh, so you had to come up with some new some shit. Some new shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was cool. You know, it was like shit I've been working on, but just, you know. You got to keep working on you it. You got to so keep working like, on hey, it. Man, but it was might be a hitting. seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely hitting and doing what it's supposed to do. So. That, that, them be the best, man. What's the, what's the new joke you got that's been hitting lately? Um, New joke I got is about how I got fired. Um, as a flight attendant because I used to be a sex phone operator. <laughs> yeah, I just, the nigga got on the phone and just was, just kind of had a flashback about, you know, so just imagine reading the announcements of the plane, but in a, in a sexual, sexual tone. yeah. That's hilarious. You got the voice to do that, yeah, bro. That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. You and Kamal, I swear to God, I don't know why Kamal missing his calling. He should just leave messages. Yeah, no, facts. He, he should definitely do some type of voice, voice work. Notes. Yeah, definitely. He needs his own ways, like, Voice. I'd be like, nigga, just read everything. Yeah. Just read everything Please. and see what stick. Please. And that would be crazy, man. I yeah. think. Let me see what new one I got. I got one about uh, gay pride and how they had them gay burgers at Burger King. I did. Uh, the, yeah. 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 And I was like, uh, imagine if you like a manager and you got to gather your team and be like, look, it's, it's pride month. We got to make these gay burgers and the nigga in the back mad and just throw his hat down. Like what the fuck, man? <laughs> What's Burger King? They uh, be flame broiled. Yep. Flame boiling. 
I don't know. Mm. I, I think I called them non-binary patties the other day. Not the non-binary patties. Oh, it was no. Nah, I was at some white spot, and I was like, "Well, it kind of looked like if you're gonna do two bottom buns, they the, they look like sourdough." I was like, "So sourdough buns ain't nothing but non-binary buns." <laughs> But <laughs> sourdough they buns is definitely it. just middle buns. Yeah, they like just a Big Mac. They just like miscellaneous. Yeah. You'd be like, all right, this bread. Binary buns is crazy. Oh man, and I started using that my uh pronoun face. That shit be going. <sighs> I gotta get I gotta come hear that. Oh, it's oh it's crazy. Oh, I'm going the WNBA joke. Oh, I made it into <laughs> like six minutes of just me talking crazy. <laughs> Bro, that shit is so funny. I man. was like, oh, yeah, I got one. I had a, a girl come up to me at a show and she was like, that WNBA trans swimmer joke you have, I'm so glad you're talking about it because I'm an ex swimmer and I do not enjoy that. Oh, ex- yeah. Like, and I'm sitting there like, this is a, re- like, you really feel this type of way yeah, about it. It's a lot of Damn. people like that. I've seen this episode on Family Guy where Quag Myers, mom, dad. Oh, yeah, he did change the sex. Yeah, he was at the bar and the bartender walks up like, Excuse me, ma'am, no porn at the bar. And she was like, oh, it's okay. I'm transgender. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry I didn't know. Do whatever you want all the time. And like, just walk up. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you yo, want all the time. Yo, that's funny. I'm like, yo, that's funny as fuck. Because that's how, like, they. It feels. Yeah, like, 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 y'all supposed to just be able to do whatever, whenever. And, like, like we can't have no type of. There's no rules. Like, for y'all. y'all okay, you know. There's no rules. It's so crazy. It's a lot of, it's a lot of transgender uh, comedians in Atlanta. I done been on a couple shows with them. I, I didn't know that. Somebody who was trans had reached out. They had sent, they had responded to my story about something. And when they responded, I, like, asked them, like, yo, so are you, like, trans or whatever? And it was like, yeah, I roll. And then it was like, um, <laughs> it, was, it was like, yeah, I roll. Go ahead and make your jokes. I'm like, no, I ain't got no jokes. I was like, I was just asking. I respect your view on what I posted. But then, like, a week later, I posted something like, like, Man, like I could just use like it wasn't even this, but it was something along the lines of like oh, I could just use some hair right now. Then the person responded better, like I got you. It was like now nah, I gotta block you because like now because now you got to nah, give me a pronoun like, hair. I, 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 I can J K or some shit like that. And I was like, nah, I don't man. know how to feel right now. It can't be no, it can't be no J K when like <laughs> you was definitely serious. Because I would respond back like, no, what's up? Like you would have been like, oh no, like yeah, they're gonna just, start sending you them sucking dick on the DMs. Nah, I don't want that, man. That's a lot. That's a lot, bro. And I. I don't know if I, I think I might have told you, but it, like I, I'm low key trying to stay away from any type of topics dealing with that as far as content goes. Cause it was a producer from Wild and Out that was like, yo, we can't, pretty much can't fuck with you because of that nigga gay. Like, for real? Yeah. Like, damn, you would have oh, been crazy on Wild and Out, bro. I appreciate it, man. Just cause how your demeanor is, it's different. And then your voice. Yeah. I don't think there's nobody on there that got a voice or nigga, it's you. Yeah, no facts. But he was like, yo, like, we can't even, he's like, be an HR nightmare. He's like, it's funny, but it's controversial. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, but y'all say way worse out loud on stage. What are we talking about? <sighs> I, don't I don't know, know bro. This is weird. I was like, I, I feel like if you talk about it within their context, you straight. Yeah, so but you like. you know in their world, you know all of the names, you use the proper pronouns and stuff. And you but, don't make fun of them, though. You can talk about them, but not in a. Yeah, you just got to make the, like, hey, this is happening. I can see. Yeah. And then after that, you just leave it alone. Because then everybody else is going to make their preconceived notion of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I had an idea I wanted to do, but I couldn't. I called a couple people. I called Tyler. <laughs> oh, I think you did tell me that. I was like, yeah, nah, called, yeah, yeah, he was that like, nah. It. <laughs> that ain't it. He's going to be, they're going to gonna cancel all your shit. They're going to cancel your subscription to Netflix. Get, I can't get no job nowhere. Nothing, bro. Damn, man. I wish it was the time. Go back to where it was okay. To you can do. say it on stage, man. I'm trying. Yeah, to you can you say know. it on stage for show, kind of. But it, even no. that shit now, bro, is kind of like weird. I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I've just been like this so long. Maybe my mind yeah. is like I can say whatever. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. Well, yeah, cool. but like everybody knows that right. off the rip, so it's not like a he's saying this out of a mad yeah. intent or ill intentions. I can't. Rem- I can't remember, but if I recall, it's not like you kind of even like warm up. I just go. Yeah, you just dive right. You gotta into go. It. Yeah. It's no. It's no other way for me to like. I'll be like, "Hey, how you doing?" Oh, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, hey, look, you gonna either like me or you're yeah, not. not. So like, the two things you gonna do. Yeah. And I'm here for ten minutes at a time. That shit is funny though. I respect but, that shit man. though. Cause it'd be crazy watching like doing these shows and you be seeing the stuff that get on TV. You be like, "How did this get on Comedy Central?" <sighs> 
<laughs> they, they're not even laughing for real. Yeah, no facts. And it just blows my mind. And he'd be like, so you just know somebody got it, cool. Yeah, that's usually what it comes down to. I forgot what movie it was, but somebody was like, um, I think it was a movie that might have had like Mike Epps in it. Maybe not though, but they, was, they said they needed a role for something. And like whoever the actor was was like, oh, like I got a cousin or somebody who'd be perfect for that. And it was like, call them and get them here type shit. So Yeah, that happens a lot. Damn. Shit, I had a show yesterday. Uh, dude was like, um, yeah, somebody canceled. And the owner was like, bro, I love your comedy. I told him to call you and get you on this show. I was like, man. Damn. I don't be knowing that. It was like, I don't be knowing where my juice lie, but I'm assuming it's working. Whatever nah, I'm man. doing. Yeah, no, nah, facts, bro. You definitely can walk around here and, and be confident in what it is that you're doing. You know what I mean? Because I, I know a lot of people who do some of the things that you do, and they, they low-key trash. <laughs> Like it's they, a lot of that, bro. It's a lot of that, it's though. A lo- it's so much of it because everybody got a phone. And if you got money and a budget, you could do this. But I'm like, nigga, I'm literally editing this myself. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Like, I don't, I yeah, can't out, do outsource, you know what I mean? And it just be the time that people take to, to get your shit. They might not do it right. Yeah. Yeah, I need to work on that, though. Yeah, like, th- like this stuff, I it, I can understand because it's like, you know the beats and how you talk and right. all that stuff. But if it's like a, something... You did like a creative piece where y'all got like five minutes, man. Get that to an editor. Oh yeah, fact. I just be like, this is what we want to talk. You might get one like you spell my name wrong. Cool. Right. Post right. it. Yeah. Type thing. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm almost at the point where I'm like, yo, I'm not. Couple more of these Facebook checks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, you out of there. Somebody gonna get these footage. You should you should teach a course though too, bro. Man, you the, the second person who said that, yeah, bro. Nigga, you put me on game. But I don't be, but I be just telling you the shit that I be doing. It don't really, in my mind, I don't see this game. But like, uh, Marcus Harvey told me that, bro, you need to teach a course. I'm like, I could do that. You definitely could, because like I said, that one gym that you told me, bro, changed like the dynamics of everything. Like, oh, that's all it was. Like, bro, damn. that's all it be. And I've been doing this shit, bro, and I didn't even know that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you just posted. Oh, it's getting flagged. Why is it getting flagged? It's worse. Why is it getting, Fucking words. I didn't want to say it again because I didn't want people to know. But it's all right. you know, you gotta clue that in your course. But even yeah, like don't even if you say it now, like nobody know what words it is. Oh, yeah, you won't no know until you know. Until right. you you be yeah. like, damn, demonetize it. This I'm the, doing why? every anything, any word, bro, that is considered offensive or curse. I'm doing it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not yeah. even putting like a asterisk asterisk. I'm putting three asterisks. Like I'm not even letting <laughs> you know. Like hell is. Four asterisks. You gotta just. You gonna hear it. Oh. Reading it, you're not gonna know what that word hey, is. We bro. should do a whole clip of us just bleep, 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 just bleep, 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 and yeah. show you that it's gonna monetize because you gonna bleep everything out. <laughs> you bleep everything out. Damn, what? It's crazy, man. It's a weird world we live in, man. It's yeah. a su- it's such a weird world because it don't make sense. It don't. Nothing. Nothing like, makes sense, bro. Oh yeah, make sure y'all go get these caps that's gonna come out. Call about that action. It's a new uh, clothing line I'm about to put out. Probably gonna do hats first, to be honest with you, because makes sense. And it's cool and it's hot, and you're gonna need something to cover your head. Yeah, I wish I had a smaller head though, because that's not gonna fit me. I, I'm a, <laughs> that's a snapback. I got bucket. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got bucket hats. Beard uh, uh, lions them uh, beard collection. They got the only snapback that I was able to ever fit. What size is your head? First of all, is it uh, bigger than the eight? No, 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 no. It's not bigger than eight. I can, I can rock a seven and three fourths. Okay. You know what I mean? I ain't did sizes in a, in a fitted and so You probably got like a, a, I got a seven peanut five, head. eight. No, I, I got, got a little peanut. Seven and a half? I don't even remember, you don't bro. Remember? I ain't I ain't wore a, a fitted in so long. You know, on his snapback, I can actually have three of the dots. <laughs> Other sad. snapbacks would be one. I'm like, yo, I'm not walking out the house with It'd be one. be holding on. Like, bro, yeah, the three, though, the three oh, is like, ooh, I'm official. That's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Big shout out to my dog B Wilson, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to him for uh letting us do that uh B T weekend experience. That was a wild experience. That was very that wild. Was, that... I was not expecting to be in that backyard. <laughs> he was in the backyard with the nigga with the AK forty seven. Man, face what? Tattoo. Ain't nothing scarier. Bro, remember we thought the one dude man. was uh Tech Nine and he wasn't <laughs> Bro, we thought that was Tech Nine. We were trying to interview him. That was Tech Nine, bro. No, it wasn't. That wasn't that wasn't Tech Nine, bro. Bro, did we make that up? No, he looked like Tech Nine. It wasn't Tech Nine. He wasn't Tech Nine. Bro, I swear it was. No, man. it wasn't, bro. They was talking about it. The, the, I forgot who it was. He's like, yeah, we thought that was Tech Nine. Wasn't it? Might have been. Well, we rolled up on this man too. And probably he was like, no, I'm Ooh, cool. Well, like, I, I know we look scary as hell yeah. rolling up on Had the, the cameras. cameras. He probably like, they think I'm probably Tech Nine. Let me. Yeah, let he me probably walk get away. that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, man, that but the, what what had me was the dude with the with the big AK-47 just walking around with the vest with face tattoos. It's like. 
not talking, just looking like he finna shoot everybody in the no, mouth holes. You're not allowed to have that weapon. I was he's like, definitely a fella. Yeah, that's like, how did you get that weapon, yeah, sir? Like you it, look like Gucci Man cousin. <laughs> there's no way you should be having that. There's no way you should be out here amongst these type of people. Like, there ain't even nobody out here dangerous. Like, yeah. Damn. Like, like just I can see him in my mind right here. Like, yo, who hired him? Yeah. Who like, thought this was a good idea? I didn't even want to talk to whoever he was protecting. The was lady? Like, yeah, the lady. Like, yeah. I feel like she was connected. I should have probably went and introduced myself, but I'm like, I don't want that. It felt like we was in, like, in the back of a Burlington. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> that a family reunion? It was in the back like, of the city trends. Man, that shit at was, a rap. I was like, "What is, is this? What BT's about?" Just BT. like, oh, didn't know it was ghetto like this, man. man it was very uh, urban. That ain't even urban, nigga. That is some other shit. I ain't never did nothing like that. I try to say urban just to be on the safe side, just in case I get on BT one day. I okay, wanna, hey know. BT man, uh, <laughs> could y'all have it at different places that would be more friendly for Please. people? Please, because like, we was all stuffed in the backyard of somebody's backyard. Yeah, and, and it, it, if it rained, like what was the what was the, everybody gonna go inside that small ass building it, with the sneakers in the barbershop? Yeah, <laughs> sneakers in the barbershop. It was hot as fucking there. I'm like, it's bro, this is hot. No. This was a crazy time in life where I was like, yeah, when I left there, I was like, what did we just do? Yeah, why, why was that? Come on, I know you got some money. I can have a video. Yeah, they got, yeah, please, BT, open up y'all budgets. I don't know Come what y'all was doing for Come that, on. but that rap showcase was not it for it to it be Atlanta. Not. Y'all need to go to some place that has an actual stage yeah. with actual lighting. Yeah. Y'all just gave, made these people pay $700 in their new clothes. To perform right by the street. Right across the street from a Wendy's. <laughs> It was. I was going to get food right after. I went straight to Wendy's. It was a Taco Jiffy Bell. Lube. It was a Wendy's, and they literally like right by the street. I like one not. person driving Texan is going to hit somebody. Yeah, like, the Chick, Chick Fil A right there. Like Wendy's. all that shit. Like hella I'm, traffic. I'm like, yo, this is not. Like, yo, man. I'm like, I'm thankful that we did it. Yes. But it just was like, why? What are we doing yeah, right now? Like, come on, man. We. I thought we kind of got past this portion of our man. careers. I don't think so. I think he's just levels to it. It is weird levels to it. It's yeah. so crazy, bro. It's like if you look at the social media and how like you see people doing this, that, and the third, it's like, oh, it's just levels, man. Yeah. Somebody connect you with somebody white. That's really what a lot of that shit be, bro. Like you said earlier, though, you gotta just know like you gotta know somebody. You know what I mean? I feel like I know a lot of people, but like I don't necessarily use my like my resources. Like I'm waiting on the right time though. Like Oh, so you'd be like, this is the one time I'm going to do it. I need you to come through type thing. Yeah. I ain't never asked you for nothing before, man. Yeah, I just want you to pull up and do it. You know what I mean? Whatever the bro, fuck I, I used that this summer, bro, with Ronnie and them. Like, bro, they, they pulled up to the show I, I got. I had to shoot. And I was like, appreciate y'all. See, that's more like family, though. You but yeah, I mean? that, yeah, you're right. I'm talking Okay, like so outside the family then. Outside the family. You know what I mean? Because like, even though, even in my, in my heart of heart, the family need to be bigger, to be honest with no, you. No, that's facts. Like, in real talk, if we go everywhere... If we went, if somebody's like, hey, we're going to book this, there's no way these people are not going to enjoy it. Like, the yeah. money they spent is going to be well-deserved to show that Absolutely. they get. Absolutely. And I'd be looking at it like, is it a reason that certain things aren't going this way, or is it just how it's going to go? Man, I, I'll be thinking about that all the time. Like, is it, you know, everybody like, you know, God, you know, timing is never wrong, this, that, and the third. And I, I understand that and believe that, but it's also like, some other shit got to be shaking. Some other shit got to be yeah. happening. You know what I mean? It can't just be like, this would be 10 years. Like, I started... Putting content out on in 2013, so this is like 10 years. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. and then um, you, you probably hitting that stride. You thinking you hitting because you switched up the content. So yeah, switch up the content. That could be it. But it's it's still like, what else? Yeah, it's weird. It's like you are gonna just keep evolving. It's yeah. it's never a I'm gonna do this forever. It's like it's gonna evolve to this. It's gonna evolve. Like, do to you that. get to a point where you don't make content no more? I'm. I've always been like this since a kid, so I'm never not make it. Right. I've been like the same way. Like I've always. So like I'll I'll find a different way to to portray it or make it. Right. But it's just like I'm gonna always make something. Yeah. Oh, y'all niggas tired of the parodies? I'm about to do a musical, nigga, and fucking. That would be great. Actually, it would be a good idea. That'd be great. And it like a, be a parody short. musical. You got it. Got to be a short, and you got to do short. it. But I had to get like the copyright. Yeah. Oh, oh you're doing it, doing it, doing it. Like putting it online. Oh, I would yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Okay, yeah. I'm just at a point where I don't want to put out content no more unless I'm making some type of money off of it. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm yeah. like, uh Because you can make money on it. So it's like why why am I just posting this just to Just to post it. Yeah, that's where I'm at. It. Yeah. And I'd be looking at people and I'd be feeling I had talked to uh, today I was like, damn, I'd be looking at my phone, niggas be getting this, that, and the third, and I'd be like, damn, man. 
People just don't fuck with me for real. Or it just it be, be like, like that, bro. It just be like, maybe I shouldn't look at this and just think of it bro, a different way. It just irks my soul that you can put some shit out and it get like a little love. And then like two years later, somebody can upload the same content, but just with their face, but your shit and the shit yeah. just go fucking Y'all crazy. be going, it be going, for you, especially for you, man. I know you done seen it. You done bro, moved out so many it, times. Bro, I done seen funny. it so many times, bro. And that shit is just... It, bro, it, it irks my soul, bro. And niggas don't look at it like that. Niggas look at it like, oh, you being petty. You an old man. Worried about a sound. Like, bro, it's not, the, it's not just a sound. Like, nigga, you making money off the shit. Like, I know you do. I know niggas yeah. doing reels, bonuses, and shit. So if you're getting- With a side-by-side. Side. With a side-by-side. Side. It don't be side-by-side. Side. It'd be, I'm going to just stand here and voice over and move my mouth to the song that you done put out and- I'm going to get 2 oh, million views. Oh, man, that's crazy. I'm going to get 2 million views here. I'm going to post it on Facebook, get another 4 million views here. And it's like. And that 4 million, in my mind, I just calculated how much they made. You feel me? Like, bro. 4 and, million, about 1,000. And I'm not, I'm getting two. Oh, shit, Rose calling. We're taking an intermission right now. Hey, Rose, I'm sitting here live recording you on the pod. Oh, shit, what up? He got back shot. Yeah, he's sitting here right here. Hey, Rose. Oh, what up, back shot? What to do? Shit, yeah, we. Uh, I'm not knock it out. Knock the interview out for her. Holler at me when you get down. I need you to set some files for me. I bet. All right. Yeah, but um, yeah, like you said, that that's like y'all just making bread off of just taking somebody else's sound, and then like even to like uh, even to report it, like bro, that shit is like way more difficult than like all right. If you see somebody getting killed online, you can report it. Like oh, this is like harmful, whatever the fuck. But like when it's your shit. You got to go through so many channels and fill out bro. forms and, like, all this shit, bro. I'm like, yo. To copy and paste the link to whatever you're doing, especially on Facebook. But once you beat it, I'm I'm killing it on TikTok. I uh, no, I'm not talking about appealing. I'm talking, oh, like, talking about, they're like, oh, this nigga's using my sound. He's making money. I want this shit to stop. Oh, so you can't. Ooh, that's a long process. It's a long process. Like, how many? It's, like, got to be five steps to that. More it's like, that. It, it's, it might be more than that. Like, you know, if you click this person's harming somebody or impersonate me. It'll give you like, all right, the next step, who is they impersonating me? All right, we, we got your thing. This is like, we take you to a whole nother page. It's a form you gotta fill out. You gotta put your first name, upload your ID, oh, that's a lot. prove that you did this, um, who did it, when did they, it's just like a whole bunch of shit. That's like, a lot. That's a lot. Like, bro, if I'm telling you this is my shit and I can just prove that, hey, I, I uploaded this on this day, this is my shit. Like, bro, that's all you should have to do. And. I wouldn't care. Like, you know, niggas make your money how you want to. But like, if I come to you like, hey, bro, this is my shit. Just give me the tag for it. And you start popping back flies. It's just literally tagging somebody. It's tagging it's, somebody. It's literally I'm button. probably not even going to get no followers off of you tagging right. me. You know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers going to watch the shit. They're going to automatically think it's you. They're not looking to see like, oh, was this who him or who? You know what I mean? Like, But just off of the strength, bro. Just don't be out here acting like that shit is yours. That's bro. crazy. You know what I be looking at and I see people that do skits. I'm like, damn, how long? Like, in my mind, like, how long do you think you're going to do skits for? Yeah. Like, real at, real talk, like, because you be like, damn, if I've been doing skits. A year of skits is a lot in my it's mind. a lot. And I be like, well, what goes after that? What goes after that? Like, do you do you keep doing it? Do you incorporate women? Because I, I see a lot of people with women a lot, which makes sense. Right. But it just be like, so what you going to do after that? Or is that is that it? Is that is, all, is that that's cool if you making I mean, money? I'm about to say if you making your money off the shit, if you if you, you know making I like get it, man. 10k a month off of just doing I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a thick girl twerking in every, every video. Every video, and I'm gonna just rock out, I guess, until something else come along that either takes my attention away from it, or I just don't have a desire to to necessarily do that shit no more. Like I still enjoy making content, like if if you know if it's good quality content, but yeah, but it do be times I put out some shit, I'm like, oh yeah, this is it right here, and then. <laughs> I'm like, yo, y'all not fucking with this? Like, oh, man. stop it, man. I thought it'd be like, I don't even have any expectations every day. I just pose and be like, well, we'll yeah. see what happens. We'll that see new what one. happens. That's, that's where I be sometimes with it too, man. I'm like, fuck it, let me see. And then the shit you put out, like, I did that black and mild uh, commercial shit. Not even thinking, and now that shit, just everybody fucking doing that shit. I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's cool, but I don't know, man. It's 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 so crazy. I'm like, man. It, like, I done seen you come in so many waves. Hey, Pause. yo. Wow, that was wrong. Yeah, that was. Out of my mouth. Uh, come in so many content. waves. Not even waves. I got to stop waves. doing this, man. <laughs> we got that the spurs. Now, yeah, man, no. 
Yeah, I knew you was gonna catch me one time yeah. saying something stupid. I know I was looking too. Um, <laughs> you made it a good like damn near fifty minutes. Yeah, man. we definitely had 44, 58. <laughs> he, he caught me. That uh, boy got a forty five minute window where he uh, just where he just get hit with a pause. Yeah, that's it. That's funny. But you done created so many viral moments and like on just the internet, it's just like people don't even know. I'll be like, how do y'all not know that? Yeah, that should be crazy. It do be love though when I see people like tag me and shit that other people have stole or used a mine. I'm like, okay, some motherfuckers do be knowing, you know what yeah. I mean? But or if I hashtag like TNG on some shit, like it'll get like a lot of likes and shit because motherfuckers, yeah. they know. They be like, this is, this is, they stopped your whole everything because they was like, no, nah, you can't. I was like, but you can do, you can do way worse stuff that's like, I'm seeing it on my phone and how is this? You know what? Yeah. Like we were talking last time, I was like, yo, it's only three words, but two of those words are like words that you can't just use. Like that's actually in, fucking in, like in a can't. sentence. In a sentence, like your computer will blow up if you do that. <sighs> what? Like you can't. So, man, how is streaming, man? How is that going? Do you are you, are you do you like streaming? Man, I think my problem is everything that I do, I always try to fucking figure out a way I can make money off of it, which ain't a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. But you all. lose desire sometimes. Got you. Because like now I'm streaming. Like I enjoy playing the game. I've been playing the game since I was like a kid. So. Now I'm playing, but like I have to stream when I play. Because if not, then I feel like I'm just you just doing it for nothing. I'm just doing it for nothing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so, it's like all right, I got to do that. But when I um last year, I had like a nice little run where I was doing like colleges and shit. So like throughout that like six weeks, I wasn't streaming as much. So when you kind of take a step back and try to go back, like nothing happened. You don't be like that. You got to like low key like not start from scratch, but you got to go back and then like put the. Put the work back in. The, you know yeah, because I mean? you used to be on the Call of Duty Warzone all the time. Yeah, it slowed down now though. Like, but I still yeah. be trying to. I will be trying to get it in and, and whatnot. Hey man, them colleges, them colleges call. I'm not gonna say no. I got my first one. It, this is coming March, bro. Oh, that's what's up. It's my alma mater, bro. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Man. Go up there trying to get all the money. When they when they call, I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's, you gotta go. You gotta go. You have to go. You I don't got, give a fuck. There's there's no way you're not gonna say because like just one trip, I do that. Yeah, All right, cool, it? Babe. Like, it, what? Okay. And you don't believe it's real till you get the contract. I ain't believe yeah. it's real till I got the contract and I signed it. I was like, yeah, that's it'd be I way better. Ask for more facts. That'd be way better than going to like a damn. You know, a little hole in the wall or some shit, or you know, fifty dollars. Like, oh, yeah, like this is this is gas money. I'm yeah, tired of this. Yeah, facts though. Like, uh, I got hit up to um, I guess this is news. So you know, I'm an alpha and shit, but they hit me up to host a um the national general convention that they have like every year, it's in Dallas yeah. and whatnot. Uh -huh. Um, and I've been out for I crossed in 2011. Okay, so twelve, twelve years. That's twelve years. Yeah, no, that's twelve years. That's yeah. crazy. That's how long. That's how long I've been in Atlanta. Damn. So that's how long it took for them motherfuckers to reach out and be like, "Hey, we want you to host the the step show that we have at the Bushman But ten thousand dollars. Definitely had to ask some niggas for some shit. That was like, yo, you know what I mean. So if they do pay it, it will be like my, I guess biggest. They're gonna be negotiating. Payday. They're gonna you know try to negotiate, go. but it's like, yo, like. I don't know. I mean, in the past decade, I don't really know too many like alphas that really have like kind of put on for like greek shit in general i so can see that i kind of that's know. a dope lane to be in because i'd be looking at them shows i'm like i don't think i would want to go to that show i would say something so outlandish oh yeah no once you've seen like once you've seen enough, like i don't seen enough step shows to last me for the rest of my yeah, life yeah so you so, already know what to do what yeah to say. it's not going you're not really gonna wow me with doing like too much that should be the, like the same shit no matter where you go It'd be boring you gotta say joke about the iota <sighs> yeah or the same shit like and it's all everybody got their own stereotypes so like you're gonna be saying the same type of jokes like forever like, be like aka the light-skinned girls with good hair yeah, Delta, the they want to fight me. and la da da. Iotas, they'd be professional side women. They, <laughs> like, whatever never, they call it. I've never heard that, but their colors are brown and yellow, like piss and shit. So that's just yeah. kind of. Is know. that the one, like, what's the one where they be having on it? They dark skins, them Zetas. Uh, I mean, Zetas ain't known to be dark skin. They're more so known to, like, eat a lot. Oh. That's that's the that's the stereotype when I was coming oh, up. Oh, they know the to eat a love lot. to eat. Like they love to eat, they love to cook. They they just yeah. They, they are, just good yeah. women in general. Yeah, they be saying they're like they be like bigger women, but like I've seen I've seen some fine badass. Not saying bigger women ain't fine badass, but I'm talking like 
That's what I'm saying. You see how I had to just correct myself yeah, because bro. you can't say <laughs> shit when I can I hear you fuck. stressed out. Nah, right now. Leave, bro. I can't say oh. shit without it being like, oh, so what you trying to say? Big woman ain't like, no, that's yeah, not what yeah, I'm saying. Not, like, I, I can say it. <laughs> I don't even, I ain't pledged nothing. Golly, like, I pledge yo. allegiance to it. <laughs> That's about it. Because I'd be like, nigga, I remember one time, I didn't even know when y'all be strolling and shit. I didn't know you supposed to get out of the way, man. I was like, what the hell is y'all doing? Oh, yeah, you definitely got to get out of the way. I was like, man, if you don't, I'll trip the hell out of you. But see, I'm like, I'm not into all that. Like, I'm going to be like, hey, excuse me, bro. We to, you know what I mean? Niggas will just kind of push you out of the way. You, like, 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 you ain't did a jumping jack in six years, yes. and now you're trying to ah, stroll. Like, you're going to tear your ACL out. Big tear your ACL. Because there's a girl over here you tried to kiss in college, and now she done got divorced. That or niggas, they'll pledge and think that they like, you know, top shit now because they pledge and they got these letters and they can walk around campus. But it's like I used to see that and I couldn't do it. Yeah, no, nah, like that shit don't make that shit don't make, make you, you as a person. Yeah, like you don't ever want to be like, oh, you're an alpha, like Nick. Like no, I'm Nick who just so happens to be an alpha. Like I'm yeah, not. Yeah, man, people take that shit serious. Oh, man. what man? I I saw a dude pledging one time and he couldn't cut corners, so every time he turned, he had to like yeah about face left yeah. face right face and he shaved his head off. And we was at a white school, so they had made they was telling I heard whispers of them eating worms. I was like, first of all, I'm tell you right now. I never. I, I will beat everybody that touched me up. Uh, whatever nickname y'all give me, gotta be something related to physical <laughs> activity. Cause I'm punching people in the mouth every whatever time. Whatever nickname y'all give me has to be related. Cause to it ain't no way. Activity. It ain't no way you gonna talk to me crazy and then touch me. Yeah. Nah. 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 Y'all, hey, look, we just gonna go through this the whole however long it's gonna take. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. You know, Alpha Alpha is a non hazing organization, so I don't. I don't know what the other orgs do. You feel me? Hey, but, man, I've been seeing, I've been hearing paddle stories and people. Yeah, I done heard them stories too, man. It's crazy. I heard like they really just be going crazy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they just really be going they just, crazy. They just really be going crazy. Going for no crazy. Reason. Like, I don't think they be like punching people. I mean, maybe some schools do, but like, I've never heard of people like punching. Man, people. I've seen, I don't know, bro. If you try It'd be to be more like rough house and like wrestling. Man, like, I'm punching fire out you. <laughs> If a nigga try to wrestle you, you gonna punch it. <laughs> yeah, man, well, why are we wrestling right now, bro? I'm, hey, man, they gotta, they, gotta, they gotta humble you. I'm good. I'm cool with that, but I paid tuition to go to school. And you also paying to become a part exactly. of that. Exactly. So like, yeah. treat me decent. Yeah, we definitely. And every year it goes up. I think when I played, it was like almost a thousand. Like yeah, that's what they were saying. Fifty or some shit. Like, Not about to pay y'all a thousand. Get beat on a little. Get beat on. It'd be hazed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Not gonna do that. that. Nah. I don't know. How but it helps, though. Like, I know it does professionally. Yeah, I get but it. But I would have never thought that, though. I would have never thought, like, me pledging. And then I'm like, oh, I want to do comedy when I get older or host events. And well, then, you know what I mean? So it 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 definitely was a uh, it definitely was a thing. Shout out to my uh, my ex-girlfriend, Bree. She was the one that got me to go to Shout out to Bree. OU. So, do, you know. do your exes be spinning the block on you? Because cause they just see the glow up or they just understand what you're doing. And they be like, I'm so proud of you. That uh, you are just doing your thing. Not all of them, uh, but some of them do, though. Some of them do. I guess it just depends on how, you know, we go our separate ways. But a lot of women, they show love. You know, I'm pretty sure there's been women out there like, I fucked him. You know what I mean? I'm, I definitely sucked his dick. Like, you know. <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man. I do the same thing, Buy bro. Some if, I ate some, if I ate some some pussy of a famous person, I'm going I'm, to I'm shout it out. Like, if I ate some pussy... And it wasn't you wasn't famous at the time. Oh yeah. And then you become famous. I'm telling everybody. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know. I got a. I got a. I got a. Not a famous, but I got somebody that'd be like, "Hey, bro." I'm yeah. Definitely had a good time with yeah. this young lady. There's also some women I would never. Lots of those keep yeah, them in the closet. Definitely got it. Yeah. Got to swallow that. Take that to the that grave key. with me. Yeah. But you got you need them to get through life, man. Shouts out to the y'all. I would call them slump busters. <laughs> Slumbusters, <laughs> when you hit no. like Ghostbusters, <laughs> Slumbusters, hell no, there's something strange <laughs> living in your <laughs> bed. <laughs> what are you gonna call <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that's the head, terrible. The head just be so fired though from the oh, slumbusters. Oh, they do, man, because they know they ain't gonna catch you again. This yeah. is one and done. I ain't afraid of no throat. Don't tell them da, 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 da. That's funny. Nigga be doing a sound. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of no dope. <laughs> oh, like, that's see. funny. Cause then the ghost, but they used to like use their little vacuums to yeah. suck up the ghost. That's funny. They got they got roses now. <laughs> they got the ah, oh, bro. All right, we, we got, got the rose on the on the nozzle. Stop. We got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> mm. On the nozzle is crazy. 
Hey man, them roses be changing women's life. Oh man. yeah, no, nah. like you gotta use it on a woman to why you like yeah. fucking them because that's efficiency. Shit. I'm yeah. here for cutting downtown. I don't care. Oh, I don't, yeah, I down yeah. time. Like I don't care if it take if it take twenty minutes. That's all I need. That's all. Yeah, I'm not trying to go. I'm not trying to go Sport all night. Cut. I'm not. I'm Sport not. sex. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Unless you on pills, then y'all can both go at it. Yeah, need to meet. Y'all yeah. be raw the next day. Yeah, nah. I'm not trying to do that. Can't do that. I don't. I don't want to do that. Just a nice like you said, twenty, thirty max. You feel me? Meet the meat. I'm doing January. No fucking. No liquor. For real? Yeah. Oh man, I tried. I did like a month of no meat beating. Mm. I'm about to do that for February. No, no fat February. No flap. No fat. Oh, no fat. I mean, no practicing multiplication. Seven times sixty is forty two. Damn. One more stroke and I'll be through. I, I would try that. I would try that. It, it actually, you feel it in your spirit. You realize you just letting go of a lot of energy. Yeah. And they'd be like, "Oh, if I want to be with me, don't do it. It just, it just go back in your body Damn. and then turn." See, I'll be just trying to look at it like I'm horny right now. Let me get this out of my system so I can go about my day and do yeah. what I gotta do. But I see it as like it's like letting go of your chi. That's what they call mm. it. It's like your spirit a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's because it's energy. Because yeah. it's protein. It's you. Mm. So it's like, oh, so if I keep it in me, I could you know be even super focused. Right. You just got to get over the horny phase. Mm. Or you, could, or you could rim it, or you just go to it, it's finna erupt, and then you be like, Doo. just stop. No, I can't. I'm not doing that. You okay. you be at the toilet for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing Woo, that. I can't it. do that. Fuck that. Oh no, nah, fuck that. I can't. That's crazy. That's that's one of the things I think we as comedians. I think we doing this generation. We kind of take care of ourselves better than the older comedians. Oh yeah, them niggas was alcoholics and. Beating their wives, they on their third marriage. Yeah. It'd be a lot going on. No, I definitely do that. I can imagine like just being a comedian before the internet. That's trash, bro. Is it though? Before the internet, if you wasn't big, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wasn't, like, and you, you working know. your way up, like them whole twenties is gone. Oh damn! Because you think about it, you start like I know we. St I started at 24, 25. I know how much I was in the streets. I can only imagine, and I got, and we had the internet. Yeah. Imagine when we ain't had the internet. I feel like that might have been a, a better time. It though. probably was because it's less, you know, but it still went the same way that it's going now. Like if you're marketing and everything done nice, they gonna mess with that. Oh yeah. If you if you looked at a certain light, like they they just be, yeah, this guy does this, it's safe. I was like, man, I don't want my comedy to be safe. Yeah, I'm trying to even figure out how motherfuckers knew about other shit. Like, how would you know about? Some shit going on elsewhere before the internet. You you just look in the paper or something. I don't know. That's a good question. If I'm in Ohio and and, and D Ferg is performing in Atlanta, how, how the fuck know? would I know that? It's the newspaper. I'll have to get the Atlanta newspaper. You have to get something, or you just call the yellow pages. I don't know how that works. Damn. That's crazy. Now I think about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that shit would work. I know like comedy clubs and shit. Like, you, you know. Could, you, could, you could find a comedy club. I yeah, know that. You could find a comedy club. You could look that up in the paper. They'll yeah. probably put an ad in there who they got this weekend, this, that, and the third. But like, I don't I don't know how the fuck like, I would know. Like now, I'd be like, man, like now after this, when we get done with this, I got to shoot a promo for another for a show I got in Savannah. They just giving me a door split. I'm like, I'm about to set this hoe out. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna do some research to figure out how motherfuckers would know. Yeah, you would. Oh, bro, you gotta go to the wormhole. If you wanna go to a spot that just work out jokes and you get paid, wormhole. Wormhole. And no, I'm talking. About, I want to figure out how motherfuckers like knew. Like they did that. I, well, I heard the stories from Roy Wood Jr. He said that they would uh, look up the comedy club, what spots was open, mic night or something, uh, and they had to submit a tape and like they do like queued up. All right, like oh, it's Roy Wood Jr. had a little title on it. He do his five minutes, and they just kind of decide from there, and they call you back from the number you have on the. I was like, bro, if I had to do that, I would never have done that. Yeah, nah. Like I would, I don't even know where you go to get a tape. Like now, but back then, you still would have to do that. Back then, yeah. Back then, you can go wherever though and get VHSs. Like you could go to like um, it was like water. Walmart. You could yeah. go to you know wherever and get blank. VHS cassette tapes. Well, they have a, a camcorder. You gotta have a camcorder. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Them oh, big... you gotta put it in. Oh, yeah, damn. Yeah, that's, man, what? You got the tape. You People gotta... be like, editing this shit is hard now. Like, I couldn't imagine trying to do imagine that Imagine in 1992, you gotta edit. <laughs> you gotta sit in a, a demo reel. <laughs> it's a real tape. You in a dark room. Man, what? Yeah, nah. That's, that's crazy. tough. Big, big shout out to 
Technology. Yeah, and all the comics from 1992. Oh, let me just see what the hell is. I couldn't do it, bro. Yeah, nah, that's... You know what I couldn't have done, too? Stripping back in the day? Could have yes. been a stripper. Because the polls just got... What year do you think the polls got metal? Mm. What kind of polls were they using the for? Pole. Like, aluminum? They was using aluminum like, before? I don't know what pole they was using. It had to be wooden at one point. I don't think they ever had the polls. I think it had to be some athletic-ass chick who, like, seen, like, a pole... In the establishment, but it wasn't like a pole used for dancing. It might have been like it just was there, like a, a water pipe. <laughs> she just twirled and she around. She just twirled it. around on it. Everybody was like, "What the fuck?" And then Meredith, <laughs> they was stripping the crazy. And songs. then from there, because like, where did the where did the stripper pole come from? First of all, how was they stripping? What music did you have? Like, you know how music now is mm. certain songs of a strip club, like. You in there, man. Let me see Meredith. Ben, it buzz it up and Meredith from <laughs> 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, rock. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, oh. Damn, that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I like, like it. The sunshine. Uh-huh, Can't uh-huh. see the sunshine band might have been there. White girl just clap us, clap us. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely was in there rocking the Casey and the sunshine band. Oh, definitely is. Like, could you imagine? Like, what other song they have? A wop, bob, a loo, bob, mop, bam, boob, tutti, fruity. <laughs> definitely. Oh, I'm definitely getting twerked on a Judy Fruity. You That's a twerking find. song. Who's that, Lou Ross? Yeah, you got to give me a, a slow song. Hell no. Nah. Strip club back in the day probably was ass. It was probably not as good as we thought it was. When did uh, Players Club come out? Shit, like 90. We got phones. Yeah, we do got phones. When did the motherfucking Player Players Club? club. I'm going to look at when the stripper poles get invented. Because I definitely want to know. Stripper pole. 1998. Okay. And Players Club. I feel like that was like, they had some, I don't remember no music though. They were playing, uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't know what they were playing. Actually, yeah, that's, that's a good question. And even in, yeah, in Players Club, I, I can't. I can't call, I can't fathom a song. Like, all right, so in the 20s, what you had? In the you 20s? In the 20s. I had Cab Calloway and shit. In the, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Then he got the four, the 30s. Uh, then the 40s and the 50s was like... You think they were stripping back then? Hell yeah, strip. As long as they've been selling vagina, stripping has to be a, a thing. Man, hold on, man. Uh, well, it says Chinese, Chinese pole and Indian pole is where like pole dancing originates from. And this was in the 12th century. So they've had stripper poles for a long time. Sheesh. That's crazy. Modern day pole dancing combines. da 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 yeah, so 12th century. I, yeah. 12th century BC. Damn. It been strippers. That's wild. That is crazy. Well, you know, prostitution is the oldest profession. I mean, that makes sense, though. Because like, they write their hand in hand. They yeah. like a, a, a dick slip away. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really it. Damn. You have a tough time. You know, you got extra 200, I'll do a little bit of something strange to your boot hole. Was you throwing money back in the fucking 30s and 40s? Throwing shillings. <laughs> 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 Tossing this bitch with a big ass bag of nickels. And- <laughs> Hell no. Tossing shillings. <laughs> she, she come back with a black eye. I made rents. Because <laughs> she got a bag of coins and knocked her out. Oh, that's funny, man. man. I be, be an asshole. You got to get changed. Let me get changed off that $2. She got a little purse on her. Throwing that. Nah, they, man. What? Nah, bro. I know somebody that was an asshole that was throwing a bag of quarters. It's like, that's twenty. That's $700 in quarters. In uh, Canada, I went to Canada at 19. You know, that's legal age. You went to Sundowners? Nah. That's uh-uh. where you get hand jobs. Oh, for real? My homeboy, we used to go all the time. I didn't go because mm. I had the money to, but yeah. I used to hear stories of getting hand jobs. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, this is a small little island called Newfoundland. And, oh, that's uh, so nasty. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it was, they love, they love niggas over there for sure, but like they smallest dollar, I think it was a $5 bill. They had a $1 and a $2 coin, and then the $5 bill was the smallest bill. So, like, they wasn't throwing money over there. They were throwing coins. They wasn't throwing. I didn't see nobody throw a coin either, though. I don't know if they said it on the stage or what. But yeah. then I uh, paid for a lap dance, and the chick was like, oh, "You know, you're like you can touch me, like you can grab my titties and whatnot." I was like, "Oh, for real?" Because you know, sometimes in America, baby, we're not we're not allowed to do that. I mean, at 19, the ones I was going to, like, you couldn't touch them. Like, oh man, she whispered in your ear, "Oh, Canada." Yeah, she said, "Touch it." I was like, "All right, shit." That's the best time ever. You tell them this your bachelor party, you get to do everything. Mm, I, I remember when 19. I had mine. 
You had a bachelor party? Yeah, man. You know, I was married for like 10 months. Oh, yeah, duh. I be forgetting, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Damn. was like, you can do whatever. I was like, I can play with these babies. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was so nervous. I'm like. I was like, yeah, I can do it. You know, at the, at the black strip club, you know, security, oh. he'd be standing there looking. You know what I mean? They ain't have no security guards. You're going like a little, like a Clark Kent phone booth with a curtain on it. Oh, that sounds like you're getting sucked off. Nah, I didn't get sucked off. You just got, you got a little pre-cum on your pants. You definitely had a stain on Best myself. part about strip clubs is the pre-cum on yourself. You yeah. Like, I am nasty. I am very disgusting. Yeah. I'm leaking. Yeah, you go to the bathroom and it's going two ways. He <laughs> to beat it. He done, yeah, the, the little coating, the nut coat. Them. It's a chamber in there that get cut off mm-hmm. when nut want to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually that's actually true. And then, you know, that's why it'd be hard to go pee after you. Yeah, you got to be sitting there for 10 minutes. Yeah, like, all right, I'm trying to turn off this valve and open yeah. this valve up. So. Got to wait for the swelling to go down. Got to wait. Ah, that should be the worst. Man. You pee, then you hit the toilet. Hit the back of the toilet seat and. I peed on the floor the other day, man. On accident? I don't know where my where, where my meat was tucked when I was taking it. I was trying to do do, and then you peed, but my dick was like wedged between the seat. Oh, the seat. And, and the then lid. it went out. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I had like, shit before. I'm like, yo, yo man, man, I get, pee on I'm the peeing on my calf. Why is there pee on my calf? <laughs> I was like, oh, my bad. I'm tripping. I remember one time, I know I got AIDS. I went do do to the mall, <laughs> <laughs> a mall bathroom. I do do in the mall bathroom, and my meat hit the water. I was like, oh, no, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead, said, give me I my knew prep. I got AIDS. <laughs> give me my prep pill. Man, I got what? You yeah. don't remember when? You remember when AIDS was scary? I it's mean, no longer scary anymore. Uh, I'm scared. It's not scary, man, because you could take vitamins for it now. Yeah, you can take vitamins, but it's still like, how do you have that conversation with somebody? You'd be like, I can roll you now. I done took my prep. Like, hey, uh, I, took my one I don't know if you know this, but, you know, <laughs> I got something that can be cured. Like, huh? Like, yeah, yeah, I've had that talk with a few women. Yeah. They, they don't be having AIDS, they be having herpes. Uh, and then women, all, every woman I ran into that said they had herpes, I was like, I'm vegan now. I was like, so vegan <laughs> is the cure to herpes, everybody. That, if you're really thinking about it, because them herbs and stuff that get might, you right. That might be the case. Nah, because you know? I was I was messing with them. I ain't get sick. I am. I am. Yeah, I think you're going to get it if they have an outbreak. Yeah, though. and then people will be like, oh, you had sex with somebody with herpes. Yes, you probably had sex with yeah, somebody who had it. No. You just ain't know. Yeah, facts. Yeah. They don't know they be having until they had a little bumps or us yeah, on there. Yeah, that's true. They say it's the most common. Uh, yeah. They say, like, you even had, like, there's, like, traces of it in you, like, if you never even had sex. It's like a ghost. <laughs> like, you get, a, like, up. a cold sore is a, a, form, a form of herpes. herpes. Yeah. And, like, I remember, I was, like, 11, I would get, like, a cold sore. I'm like, I know I'm not out here fucking. I ain't sucking fucking labias. Bitch. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like, I thought it was always just something, like, it's cold and your lips is chapped. Yeah, and you just rubbed it enough and it's irritated. Yeah. It's like a scab yeah. there. Nah, I, that's what I thought it was too. Yeah, but now, I mean, I ain't had no damn cold sore in eons. Eons. So, so you know, but that's I, real. I, yeah, I don't know, man. You I, see the, uh, you seen the, 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 the P. Diddy shit? You ever? When she peed on a girl? He, she, oh, Miami? Little Mi- she never Miami? even said it was him. Everybody just assumed it was P. Diddy. Because yeah. it just made more it sense. It made more sense. It's yeah. more funnier to, you know. I pee, did he pee on Is that her? something that you would do? Would you That's pee on somebody? Ask me to pee on her. I've never had that happen. I would, just to be like for the story. Yeah, but I'm not in. Like, I, you got to shower and go. To, you have to be in the shower. Yeah, like you, you just we shower. just ain't peeing on each other. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I haven't done that yet, but I'm scared. I'm scared somebody gonna say that to me out loud and be like, "Hey, man." People heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? Why did you say that? I definitely did. I've been that? asked twice. Did you do it? Uh, one time I did dabble in. It was in their face or on their body. Man, you know what, man, man. And do you and you straddle the toilet and you just out there just? Nah, you, it was in the shower. Like you had that conversation, like on some, and and they both was from Florida. I'm but telling you, Florida women are the nastiest. Florida. So it's like, yo, if that's something that she like told me she wanted me to do. I would hydrate the day before. Like, I'm going to hydrate extra hard. Like, I'm hydrating. I'm hydrating on the ride there. You know what I mean? So that way, they ain't going to be just nothing crazy. But You waiting for the pee to kick in. Like, yo, it was like, oh, you ready? You ready? Remember you said, you know? Seconds but, uh, man, yeah, no, nah, man, you do it in the shower. And, uh, like, I've, I've done it with the same person maybe, like, two or three times. Oh, man, my pee strong, so I don't know. But that's why you drink water. 
I don't know. Even when a piece, even with my vitamins still be in there, bro. Yeah, don't eat no asparagus. You know what I, I mean? You're going to be in there fucked up. Like, you, asparagus pee is the Ooh, worst. Ooh, she going to be mad at you? Man, what? But no, the one time I did it, though, she, like, it was, like, on her body. Like, like on her, it was actually, like, on her backside. Then she, like, turned around and then, like, got it on her chest. Then the next time, it was, like, just, like, on her chest. And then she had, like, dropped down to catch it. Like, in her, in you know, her mouth hole? In her mouth hole. And just like let it like run out, you know what I mean? Like it's that it was it was very crazy. I know Can't you even kiss believe it. in the mouth after that. Not like right. Yeah, after. you gotta you gotta brush. Like, you know, it. but also I mean, bro, like, like like I said, this is my like this is the yeah. number one. Like she, oh, she the nasty nasty. She's like number one. Like she literally covers like all categories when oh, it comes man. to that. Like nigga, there's nobody who's touching her like Dang, off limits. That's crazy. I don't and if you seen her, you'd be like, yo, there's no fucking way. Like for real? Oh man. I'm talking gore. It just I'm gonna have to see pictures after <laughs> I'll this. I'll show you. It's gonna be crazy. I'm trying to tell you. That shit is wild, but they no. That was yeah. So it gotta be the girl it gotta be the girls with the blue check marks that's nasty. Cause no, they she ain't got no blue check mark. Or the ones that got like five hundred followers to just be ducked off in the cut. Nah, she got four digits. She she more closer than to ten than she ain't. I can't do 10, man. If a girl tried to talk to me and she got crazy, I was like, all right, it's cool. You cool people, but like, what we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you are, what are you, what are your plans for what we got going on? Yeah, yeah. So I can know, act accordingly. Because yeah, I know yeah. how I'm going to be. Yeah. Don't be act, adding no workload until my shit, though. Like, if you were a content creator and that's what you've been doing, that we meet and we trying to date, I should not be responsible to now edit. No. And do all your shit. Like, no. No. I've done that before. I've taught women how to edit and shit. And you a good person, man. Yeah, I want you to always leave with something. You're a little supposed better. to win. I feel like if you never, if you leave a relationship, she should have a little bit. She should be a little better off because of the knowledge you gave her. Yeah, absolutely. Or you should be, you know, I guess financially in a better position if I'm yeah. fucking paying rent. Like if we splitting rent and we splitting bills and shit, and like, hey, even if you're I'm not, here. I, I done had a couple of relationships where I was like. Oh, when you ain't been short, I know when I'm shorter than rent, I got to give out a whole lot of dick. <laughs> Not, I'm talking about, I've been situated, but I'm paying our rent, like I'm paying our rent, our bills, you know Oh, what I mean? you just so doing like, everything. Doing everything, giving people the chance to try to figure out what it is they want to do. Oh, you know man, what I mean? That's, that's commendable, bro. It is commendable until... Until they stop until trying. You, yeah, now you done fucking did all this shit and then they... they Still right with man, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't, I didn't been later, not even late, but just ain't had my rent. And I was like, hey, look, you got the other shit. Like I got a lot of it, but yeah. not all of yeah, it. Yeah, and I feel like you can work that shit out. But yeah, so go back to communication. Don't but, wait to the thirty first. Oh yeah, I didn't did that before. It's like, hey, look, I got this much. Yeah. How I thought I was going to have it. I tried my hardest to get it. I did. It. You be trying, too. Yeah. You really be having it, but it just what? ain't coming to the next week. Yeah, it don't come to the next week. Yeah, no facts. That really be it. Women, stop. Stop. Yeah, y'all got to stop doing that. If your man out here working, man, work with him. Yeah, work with him, man. So he if he got know. some shit going on, if you see him out here getting to it, if he ain't a lazy or just a ain't shit type of nigga, like, come on, man. Be patient with that, be man. Be patient, man. How, what's the time span? I feel like women get two years for you to get your shit together. Especially <sighs> yeah. in, the, in this era of... They see everything every day. Everybody rich on their phone yeah, every day. Yeah, so I think two years. Two years. A woman definitely ain't giving a nigga two years. You definitely. If if, if definitely she see progression, months. you got two months with a woman. Like if two months she don't see some shit. I don't know, man. That's what I said. This dating shit is whack, bro. I just hate the fact or the concept that I gotta spend money on you without knowing who you are, just to let you know that I'm fucking with you. Hey, bro. I'm I'm giving you the intangibles first. I need to know where your spirit at, cause this yeah. is dude, like you in the chapter of my book now, Fact. of we, my life book. If we go out to eat, I'm definitely looking at you. Like, did this bitch say her grace? Like, <laughs> bitch, you ain't say your grace. Oh, you like, believe in God? Can't fuck with you. Oh man, I don't be caring at that point. I be like, <laughs> you could be, you could worship the devil. I do not care as long as you treat people fair. I'm straight. <laughs> No, man, I, I can't date nobody who worships the devil, man. Like, not, nah, like, yeah, okay, that was yeah. I did, I, I was with somebody who who later kind of expressed that they did not believe in God, but at that point, I had already got the head from her, and yeah. it was like, yo, I can't, God, just because she don't believe, I'm here, I believe. I know somebody running this. <sighs> it well, it's an entity man. that's running all of this. Yeah, they ain't got to be, I, I feel bad for the young boys. Yeah, and motherfuckers making shit like, oh, you must be, bro, you must be broke, man. You don't want to spend money. It's like, bro, it's not even about that. Like, bro, I don't That's even right. know if I'm gonna like you. Why am I spending one fifty, two hundred, two fifty? Who is doing that? Bro, depending on what you like. All right, a, an ideal normal date is like we're gonna get some food. Okay. And let's just say we're gonna food. go 
to the movies as well, or okay. some sort of entertainment. That's fifty dollars with the movies, just two food. Tickets. Let's say food. All right, you go on. You you might get an appetizer. The appetizer can run you like fifteen. All right, mm-hmm. y'all gonna each get a drink. Drinks, let's just say for the cheap side, they ten a piece. All right, so you already had thirty five dollars. Thirty five. Get your entrees. Entrees about twenty a piece. You had seventy five dollars. Right there. Leave a tip. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a decent tipper. No, two dollars. <laughs> I'm a tip. If you do your job, I'm giving you fifteen percent. Like you just bare oh, minimum yeah. do your job, fifteen twenty percent. If you go a little above me, I'm maybe like. So you already done spent eighty, ninety, hundred dollars on just dinner for two. The people. first date. I mean, the first date. Like, if now, you go, is this the first date dinner? This would be the first date, man. Like, if you go out with a woman and she wants to get like an appetizer, get some fried pickles or some spinach dip or some shit. <laughs> you gonna get that? You know what I mean? Yeah. She want to get an alcoholic beverage. All right, get something to drink. I'm gonna get something to drink with you. And then a, a, a entree. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna t- like. No, you can't. We can't get no appetizer. You know what I mean? Like, oh, don't you get nothing to drink? Like, so you are gonna probably spend about hundred dollars on dinner. Okay, at a, I can at see a that. decent spot, you know what I mean. It ain't gotta be no nothing crazy. We ain't going yeah, to no boo Atlanta fit. We ain't doing that. I ain't shit. never even been to no boo for myself. I me either. It don't even. Sound I'm, like I'm not gonna take you somewhere that I haven't even took myself. Yeah, I've I, never been to Rupert. And I could have went. It just, yeah. like, it just don't seem like a place I want to go. I don't be caring about all that shit. Like I low key want to get to a point where, bro, I'm only eating to survive. Like I don't give a fuck about oh, that shit. There. Taste. Yeah, I've been there. I know you have. You know what I mean. So I'll just, <laughs> I know you. Have. I know you have. You like, oh, 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 you nothing. Mean, just lettuce. You know what I mean. Tomatoes and dreams. So if y'all just do dinner alone, nigga said tomato and dreams. I buy that's it. That's just a hundred dollars. But you know, you probably gonna do something entertaining, whether it's the movies, you might go bowling, whatever case is. That's another like twenty five, fifty dollars. That's one fifty first day. And you might not even like the woman. And you might not even hit. That's why I'm you might not even the hit. first day. I'm hitting. I, I See, can't I don't wait. even do that no more. I don't even put the pressure on trying to like fuck women because if you get to that first bait, that means I've been talking beforehand. And that means she got feelings built up. Yeah, facts. And then she want to give you the thing. She want to give you the thing. Do you deserve the thing? It's, yeah, it's, it's, she's just trying to figure out where she's going to put you. That's why I'd be like, look, what do you... You got to ask a girl what you want from this. Yeah. And if she be like, friendship, that means she just want to mess around and touch. Oh, yeah, yeah, And that's cool. You know what I mean? But some... Some people like, you I want tell a women that, like, yo, I don't want, I don't want this. I just want to have some fun. They're like, all right, <laughs> I don't bet. want this. I'm going to change his mind. Like, now you're trying to change my mind. You're doing extra shit. And then, like, yo, I didn't tell you to... I didn't tell you to do that extra shit. None you know of that. I mean? like you, you doing that. it, but don't make it sound like I'm a bad nigga now because I'm not about to be yeah. with you. You know what I mean? And who was it that said, um, I forgot who the fuck told me. Somebody was telling me, like, uh, or pretty much like if if like if I, you know, hang with a chick. I don't like putting that pressure on trying to fuck a woman just because I just don't be giving a fuck at the end of the day. Like, yeah, I, I know like you, you know what I mean? I just don't care. Like, sex is cool. Sex is fun. But it's like. I don't have to fuck you, you know what I mean? There's so no need for that. There's no things. need for that. And then, like, I just, I don't be wanting to pressure you, you know what I mean? Or it's going to be awkward if I go to fuck you. Like, oh, no, I don't want And then it's like, all right, Damn. now what we doing? We're talking about that day one. Like, hey, yeah, I'm us. Because the women will say, say, I, I'm more than my body, but then come at you with the coochie meats. Like. Immediately. You be like, titties. Immediately. And I'm like, I, I like titties. I do. Yes. But I'm just like, I don't need them right now. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't I gotta need them right now. I got to pay for the titties. And I don't got time to pay for the tickets. I don't like got I don't time. got time. I'm editing ninety percent of the yeah. time. If I'm not on the stage, I'm editing. Yeah. And, or shooting. Right. So it's like I don't really have the I, I don't have the desire to take away from the shit that because I, I like what I do. Like this shit yeah. is fun. You know what I mean? But I don't want to stop that to go fucking do that. Like I don't. I don't yeah, man. I don't and and they make it seem like like you don't be taking me out. You don't do this, like, bro. Do you help with anything? Like, do you? do you? Like, they don't be wanting to help, but when you when you be like, hey, look, this is what I need you to do, it be so much pushback. It be so much For them pushback. to do something so small that can help you out. And then when it's your turn to do it for them, they be like expecting above and beyond. She be like, well, I'll do that for you. Be like, no, that's that's because you do that wrong. Like, you'll pick yes. something that y'all think we want yeah, and yeah. go above. And we be like, but I didn't ask for that. I didn't I ask, ask for that. This. Right. This is exactly what I it's told you. It's very less want. than that. <laughs> We really don't be asking Every for a lot. Ass. And then it's like if I if I if I fuck you and it's just not right because, you know, I got certain expectations of what I would like out of sex. You know what I mean? So if I done been with somebody who's who does certain things and like you're not, then now we just wasted time. Now I just wasted so much. I just time. put a body on my my body list for no reason. Oh, I done stopped counting, bro. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh yeah, no, it's no, filthy. No, no. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'd be no, like, no, Jesus no. I know, I know about where I'm at, but I don't. I stopped counting after a certain time. Too. Yeah, after age 25, I was like, that's it. Yeah, I yeah, can't because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. getting out of hand. Yeah, I think after after college, I was like, yo, I'm not. 
Oh, Especially in Atlanta. I think we got to wrap this shit up. Hold up. Yeah. Running back and forth. That shit beat us, but that means we got like, oh, we ended. Oh, yeah. Well. That's going to be cool at the end. <laughs> hey, everybody that's listening to this for the audio. Yeah, this shit is over with. <laughs> this shit is done. This shit is over with, man. Damn. Tell me where they can find you. Hey, man, you can find me everywhere. Mr. Underscore Bankshot. Uh, Twitch, Nick Bankshotty. That's really it. If you type in Mr. Bankshot on whatever, you find out everything. Don't believe what you see on Google, though. Google say I'm, my net worth is $50 million, so don't, Oh, shit, for real? Yeah, don't believe that. All them hoes be at you. Boy, what? I know women who do that, though. Like, they'll be like, I'm going to Google his net worth and see. You know what I mean? Of like other people, not me, but. Women be doing that shit? Yes. I was at a Browns game one time, and the chick had met a former player, and then like she went over to the corner, Googled his net worth, and her friend was like, she always does this. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's trash. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will never. Make a, You better make a Wikipedia page. Yeah, I need to. Who I call? Somebody white? I think you make your own Wikipedia page, ain't it? I don't know. I, I know my IMDb page is crazy. Oh, yeah. My IMDb page is booming. You look at that shit, you be like, you should be a millionaire. I am not. Make a Wikipedia and be like, my net worth is. That much. 100 million. I, I'm, I'm going to hit him with a humble four. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Four feel like it's right. That's believable. After this year, shit, it's about to be the way life is looking because got a lot of shit. Wait, I'm just waiting for the phone. I'm telling you, bro, I'm waiting for the phone call. When you see me wearing leather a lot, <laughs> that's when you know the money hit, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. In the summertime, just hella leather. Whenever, nigga, just anywhere. <laughs> when you see me, like, what this nigga fur got on shades yeah, now? Nigga got the money. Okay. He done got some yeah. money. Tell yeah, I already know, I already know exactly where I'm going with the first outfit. Like, you gonna make this? And I'm about to be out here shooting people clubs up and moving my mama down here because I'm about to be an awful baby daddy. Bro, shut the fuck I'm up. I'm dead serious, man. Uh, you know how long it's been for me to just be like, ah, I'll be a baby daddy today. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm cool with messing up. Like, not messing up a girl life, but just be like, man, but you knew this when you're you are not going to mess it up, though. If you, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're going to have that bag. So at that point, it's like. When you when you have if you make a hundred thousand anything in multiple years, you will never you can't really mess that up. Yeah. Unless you just going crazy. Just doing stupid yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, like it's not that hard. Like I done survived off way less. You're right. So Facts. like I've survived off thirty thousand, twenty thousand, <laughs> yes. ten thousand. Like it's not hard. Facts. Back in the yeah, I used to take my hourly like what I make an hourly and multiply or oh, eighty hours a week, okay, just two paychecks a month. Twenty two thousand. Damn, that's what I got. That's all I'm making. But I, back then, I feel like I was like, oh, yeah, cool, 22,000. But you also, like, was this, you, you a dude that was, like, you just out here doing and living. You're not doing nothing crazy. Oh, yeah. It be women whose minds be different because they just spend money recklessly. Yeah. And they don't even put money away. Mm -hmm. They don't even know who to call to put money away. Niggas be like, I need to put money in my savings because I know this is going to get crazy. Yeah, yeah, facts. One of these years. One that's these what, years, I'm going to need this. That's what happened in COVID, bro. Yeah. I, I reached in some. I reached in some accounts I didn't want to reach in, and I was what? like, yeah. "Woo, man, this is crazy." Yeah, that shit was a crazy time, bro. That was a crazy. I, time. It's a, it's a time I'm. And it's the time I realized like that shit really made me. If you came up out of COVID positive in yeah. anything, like your content, your 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 life is a little better. Yeah, you you winning. Yeah, no facts. I do miss unemployment. Shout out to unemployment. Please Boy, come back. Was coming in. Please come back. Coming in, coming. <laughs> That's how I paid for my divorce. <laughs> I got one of them stipends. <laughs> yeah. Stipend yeah, yeah. came in. The nigga looked at me and how long I was married. He's like, yeah, we're just going to waive that fee and just this is how much you're going to pay them. It's, you'll be, this will be done in three weeks. Yeah. They be taking you up top. Never, right. get, married. never get married again. Oh, never. never. Like, it sounds like a good idea. It sounds beautiful it, until I, you do it. Then until you be like, man. Man, we can just have a contract between us. It's not really, yeah. you don't even. Yeah, facts. And but I feel like I'm going to come to a point like if it's a girl I, that I mess with, I'm going to just be like, look, I'm going to be doing this. You're going to be doing that. That's cool. You know where my mama stay. You know where my family at. Whatever you need, I got you. Just give me some time. Just let me know what you need, and I'll give it to you. Right. And I feel like that's just going to go on till I die. Yeah, facts. Because my, my family, my, man, my granddaddy had two grandmamas at – uh, one of my uncle's funerals, bro. He had two nigga. I'm walk. He walked in, woman to woman on him. Eighty eight. Oh, that's hard. And I'm like, I'm supposed to be like this. And immediately it was just like, okay, yeah. Y'all can't tell me nothing now. I done seen 
the OG OG OG. Yeah, dude. the OG OG. And I'm like, yeah, I I don't know about marriage now. Yeah, it's like, just y'all swindled me. It's just, it's just a lot, man. Expectations and just you know living up to what people want you to do. Like this should be cool, but like me, I've always been in relationships. So like just having this time to where like where you free, and free. You know what I mean? Like I'm free. I ain't got to worry about. I ain't got to. Oh, why ain't you? Or you ain't call. You ain't like. Oh, I ain't got to handle that. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't. I, I don't. I know how to cook. I know how to wash my ass, wipe my ass, clean, whatever the fuck. So it's like I don't necessarily need a woman for shit. You just be like, I like titties and vagina. I hole. like titties and vagina hoe. And I begin. I feel like sometimes when you don't try to fuck a bitch, like she gonna. Gay. I've heard that shit before too. Really? Yeah. I'm not a dude that should be super aggressive about it. I I I'm, like, I'm the same way. It'd be like, years. And honestly, like I would prefer sometimes for a woman to be the one that also initiates. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Let me know that it's cool. You know what I mean? Like don't don't just be sitting there waiting on me to do everything. Like bitch, I'm already paying for the dates. Like the yeah. least you could do is grab the dick. Like <sighs> grab it up. Like grab you mean it up. It. Like come on, man. I need you to be like, give me this dick. Like, please do something. Sit on it. Touch it. Yeah, Bring man. up the topic. Like, Yeah. I ain't going to front. If it take too long, I'm, I'm. if it get like 8 o'clock and we've been sitting in the house all day, I'm sending hints through the whole day. Yeah. I'm like, hey, man, you go ahead and give me that thing later on about 8 o'clock. Yeah, facts. It's, it's 7 in the morning. Facts. You know what time. I'm going to go to the gym. What you doing after work? Give me that thing at 8 o'clock. Next thing you know, she, it's about 8.35. She's going to be like, all right. I done, I done worn my toy up. <laughs> I done plugged it up. It's not going to die on me. There's nothing wrong with using the toy, man. Get that woman her satisfaction. Yeah, cause so they can leave you alone. Man, what? That's all they be wanting. Get that energy up out of her. Yeah. She was trying to get that protein spilled on her body. That's it. And once you do that, all right, cool. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. This shit over with. Yeah. We Bye. rocking, though. So we had like 30 more minutes of